I don't think people understand that more than half of the U.S. territory is underwater. But we have almost another nation underwater that we don't understand and rarely explore. Off our coast, the United States, we have these canyons. If we could drain the water from the ocean, you would see something that would dwarf the Grand Canyon. There's almost 90 of them between Canada and South Carolina, and I would say less than 1% of them have been explored. The Northeast Canyons National Marine Monument was established in 2016 by the Obama administration. The importance of its establishment is that it allows us to really study and better understand these incredibly unique geological areas. Every time scientists go out to these areas, they're seeing things they've not seen before. Here at the New England Aquarium, we've been watching this area for decades, and we know that there is an incredible abundance of wildlife and diversity there. One of our primary goals is to establish protected areas in New England's ocean. And what's really exciting about the Northeast Canyons and Seamounts is we're only beginning to discover what's there. When you leave the surface, it's a new world down here. It's a different world. There is swordfish. Oh, like just like that. <laughs> a really large billfish came through here just now. These are remarkable places on our planet where life aggregates and comes to be. The Northeast Canyons and Seamounts, it's known as the Serengeti of the Atlantic. It's a biodiversity hotspot. It's home to about 75 different species of deep sea corals. It's truly extraordinary for the wildlife that it supports there. These corals are not like shallow water reef corals you might think about. Deep sea corals don't rely on sunlight at all. Instead of being broad and flat like a reef you might find in the Caribbean, they stand more up like trees and they put themselves out into the current. And because they stand out into the water, animals like to get on them. There's lots of other animals that also want those passive particles that they could feed on. There'll be brittle stars and crabs, shrimp, worms. These corals interact with other animal life in a really weird way. They allow certain animals to get on them and other animals to not get on them. There's communication at a tissue or cellular level that we don't understand yet. And when I think about medical procedures that require acceptance of tissue, I think about the corals and products from the marine environment that help in medicines. Oceans around the world are facing mounting threats from overfishing, pollution, oil and gas drilling, and now climate change. Climate change is impacting our oceans in ways that we're only beginning to understand. These areas are warming 99% faster than any other body of water. The ocean is the life support system for our planet, and we need to be protecting these vitally rich and diverse areas so that we can continue to study them and we can continue to make sure that the ocean thrives and therefore allows us to thrive. As a scientist, I could tell you we discover something new every time we go out. That's been my drive, to discover things to uncover mysteries that we can then solve. There are no other monuments like this in the Atlantic. It's our American heritage. It's part of our national resource, our underwater America, and there's no reason why every American shouldn't know that we have this monument and what's in it. <laughs>